Today we're going to talk about the very basic and easy function of balancing, opening, and closing your cash drawer. The first thing you do when you come in the morning, open Salon and Spa Ultimate. You're going to log in. And then you're going to click on the balance icon or cash drawer. It already um, is defaulted to today's date. You will notice that you have a main drawer and a system drawer. The system drawer you never have to worry about. This is something that is set in place for e-com transactions, gift cards online, uh, reoccurring memberships. Um, this is something you will never have to worry about using. What you do want is to open your main drawer um, or any other drawers associated with your terminals. So we're going to go ahead and click Open Shift, and we're just going to go down and count the number of coins that and dollar bills that we have. It is not the amount, um, the dollar amount. It is just the number of each one. Uh, we'll go. And if this is a different amount that you're opening with than what you closed with the day before, it will reflect that in here. Um, we're go ahead and just going to leave this for demonstration purposes, and we're going to click Open Shift. That simple. Now we're going to go ahead and go through the process of closing the drawer and balancing at the end of the day. You're going to go ahead and click the balance icon again. Now, if you have a situation where you have a front desk person and some stylists and you have your last client in for the day and you want to get a um, jump on closing out the drawer or balancing it, you can balance the drawer at any point during the day. Also, if you have a question about whether a customer handed you a $50 bill versus a $20 bill and you need to recount the drawer, balancing can be done at any point. We're going to go ahead and click the balance drawer or close shift. Um, it's going to be the same pro type of process where you're going to enter the amount of money that you have in quantity. I'm going to go ahead and enter what we've counted in our drawer. You'll notice also that these fields on the bottom, the gift certificates, cash drops, paid outs, these are all pre-populated from transactions that have happened during the day. These are not editable um, at any point. Um, they will just go ahead and pre-populate with what you've had. Um, you can also, if you've noticed that you opened with an incorrect amount, you can always go in here and change your opening balance. Um, once we've counted the entire cash, you'll notice that it gives your total cash and coins here. The end of the day cash and drawer is what you're physically going to leave in the drawer. So we're going to say that we're going to leave $300.25 in the drawer. We're going to do a $95 deposit. If you are an integrated credit card user, you will have all of these fields pre-populated. If you are a third-party user, you will have to enter them um, by calculating up your slips or using your batch report on your credit card terminal. We're going to enter in here the amounts that we accepted. The online transactions are again for um, e-com gift cards or membership purchases that are through cards um, online on your web deployment. If you are still waiting for customers at the end of the day, you can hit balance shift at this point. Um, it's going to ask if you want to view your cash drawer and balance report. We're going to say no at this point. Our drawer is just balanced. The final step is that we're going to go back in. Our customers are all done. We've checked out every single person. We're ready to close out. We're going to hit balance drawer and close shift. And then we're going to close shift. It's going to ask if we want both the detailed and summary reports to open. We're going to say yes. These you want to print out include with your cash deposit or however your business um, prefers to do their cash deposits, drops, things like that. You're going to have your cash drawer detailed analysis, who it was closed by, the time, um, the name, and then also on your balancing report. It's going to be that you started your day that you were over. Um, everything that you took in that you counted um, and all of your deposit details and the total in here. And that's balancing your drawer.